Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm testing out the Lava Hound with the Goblin Gang. Uh, I got the idea from Carl. I saw him playing it on one of his streams and I was intrigued because like, I, I don't think it would work at all, but uh, we're just going to try it anyways because I really have no idea what I'm going to play this meta. It seems really hard for Lava, but uh, we're just going to test out the Goblin Gang. So if you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe uh, and leave a comment. Uh, that would be so nice, I appreciate it. But this guy's got poison and the delivery, and I have absolutely no idea what this is. Delivery, poison, inferno tower seems like a... Ooh, seems wretched, dude. It does, it does, okay. Um, okay, I think I could just zap the... I mean, there's... Yeah, wow, look at that zap value. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Chris. I was gonna say, like... The amount of uh, damage we're going to get from this balloon would be insane because he's poisons out, his delivery's out, and we're just going to be able to zap the eye tower. And then he puts the bats right on top of the eye tower, so. I mean, hey, I'll take that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Chris. I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, we're up an entire tower, and um, as of right now, the Goblin Gang has not done anything for us. So, we're winning this game not because of the Goblin Gang, just, you know, it's it's just there. So, I mean, we're just going to drop a tombstone. I mean, again, I'm the Goblin Gang not doing anything. Just a fireball is a better option for that Valkyrie. And the bats. And and it, is it just me or does, you know, the miner feel like it does so much more tanking for my opponents than for me, bro? What is that? Why would... Okay. Okay, hold on. I kind of understand that now. Still, that feels like a really crappy play. I mean, I guess it's a 5 for 5, right? We could use the gang. I guess that's what's nice about the gang. It's just a cheap um, three elixir counter that you, we can defend some stuff instead of tanking it. I guess that's cool, but I'm just going to say this game is already wrapped up because this guy's pushes are like second grade pushes. Like, he doesn't know what's going on. Like, he's just, this is just really basic Clash Royale. This guy doesn't have any clue what he's doing. Like, it's, it's kind of weird, but... Um, yeah, we should just be able to you know, fireball and then zap, actually, because that way we can deal as much damage to the Inferno as possible. Drags, uh, in case he goes bats here. Um, he's also good. Okay, That's, I, I got him some mastery challenges. That's a little annoying, but uh, yeah, this game is over. This is a good matchup, I think, for us. Maybe not a great matchup, but I mean, he has no like win condition, so it's pretty easy to get uh, defense going. So, I mean, the Goblin Gang doesn't really help us here, so as far as rating how the Goblin Gang is doing in Lava, this game doesn't really make an effect on me. Like, yeah, it's nice that we can defend some stuff for Treeper, but we didn't have to, so it's kind of weird. Alright, we've got Wiro coming in. Um, Wiro, I feel like I know this guy. The WoW? The WoW feels like maybe I definitely do know this guy, or maybe I don't, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I'm overthinking it. It's probably a Latin American creator or something. They always are, dude. Like, these, there's so many of them, it's crazy. Like, I wish I spoke Spanish sometimes, because the amount of viewers I get from the Latin American community is crazy, bro. They're so massive. Like, you can go on on any time and see, like, some creator with, like, a thousand viewers. So, it's it's crazy, dude. But, uh, what the hell was that? I, I Dude, back-to-back -back <laughs> matchups where the opponent's just making the weirdest plays. And it, he's catching me off guard because I don't know what the hell he's doing. Like, <laughs> can, the tornado into the cannon cart? Like, what does that do for you? I don't know, man. I mean, we've got the nice lava push coming in, except uh, I didn't do the anti nate Oh, what the... Oh, okay. Well, the balloon is alive with one HP. Oh, that was a that was a bad gang. I I, I tried to wait until the skeleton king was locked on the tower, but it doesn't matter because we're up a ton of damage. But I I usually go with the anti NATO spot when I'm going lava loon, but he just uses NATO on my skeleton drags, so I decided to just uh, use in what whatever just put the loon behind the lava because we don't need to worry about him NATOing it to the king tower. Um, oh my. Well, that took a turn. Um. Why does he have Golem? This guy feels... Really? Golem? I thought he would be playing like Graveyard or something, but I mean, I guess it could be Golem. I mean, Golem and Graveyard have a lot of similar cards sometimes, so... Well, the guy just decides to not back up his Golem at all, so okay, well that's not really gonna do anything for you. We're just gonna get a nice fireball down. Wow. 
Thank you. Not a single golem hit on the tower. We're going to get some golemite chip damage, but whatever, dude. That's fine. Look at that. We're still up 1,200, and we have a massive... Ooh, why didn't he use that earlier? I guess the lightning worked all right for him, but I wonder why he didn't just use the tombstone earlier. We'll go gang just to finish it off. And it's kind of just like, okay, that's nice that it forced out a bar barrel. I thought it was going to get some nice king tower damage, but you know, it's it didn't really. But uh, we're going to get a nice fireball here coming in. Oh, I like that, that we're almost getting him out of here. We get him out of here before he uses the ability that's clutch. Look at the gang. They're wrapping up the golem pretty fast. And I mean, it's only because he's running NATO and not like a small spell because he, he has bar barrel instead of zapper arrows. So that's the only reason the gobs are getting value. So, uh, once again, I mean, it, it feels kind of lucky that we're facing Bar Barrel Golem instead of, like, Arrows or Zap. So, once again, I don't know if the Goblin Gang is good or bad against this matchup. I feel like, it, again, it didn't really do anything for us. Tito from the Beatbox coming in here. Um... Hey man, I'll just sit here. I was thinking about it earlier. I was like, should I go Goblin Gang first play with this thing? And I decided not to start going Goblin Gang first play if I have it. Because you got to treat it like your only ground card. Just like the Barbs or the Mighty Miner. So, um, in case you guys are playing this deck, I wouldn't recommend going Gang first play. Just uh, have some patience. Wait for him to make the first move. Uh, I'm going to go Fireball here because now my uh, Tombstone is going to wrap up his Bomber. And we might not even lose our Tombstone if we're like, Oh. Oh. Okay, we're <laughs> we are going to go to the other lane and ooh, forcing out a tornado. We're gonna take get some major balloon damage, and now I'm gonna go drags outside of the circle because I believe that saves our tower. Um, and not going down to tower is gonna piss him off a little bit. And so we are gonna be down. Uh, are we losing a tower? We don't. Ooh, we avoid the last hit. That's kind of clutch. Um, so we're going to be down 600 damage. Uh, it's still fine, though. Because now I know that I have to use the gang for his prince and the goblin. Or, sorry, yeah, the gang for his prince and the tombstone for his e-giant. So i got to be a little careful. Um, that's 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 rough about using, you know, a beatdown deck. If you don't know exactly what he's playing, you can get caught in little situations like that. You know, kind of annoying. I'm going to go gang, like, right here because I, I have a feeling... That this is the type of deck where he'd like predict, I don't know, my Goblin Gang and get a free Prince charge. And I absolutely do not want to allow that. Like, I would be fine if that was on my left tower since it's so low, but I don't really care. I care for taking, you know, a thousand Prince damage prod up the ass to, you know, my right tower at full HP. That would be really annoying. So I'm like, making sure to better be safe than sorry, you know. Um, let's see what's going up here. Wow, okay, well that's a 9 elixir defensive play. We're gonna get some, oh, we're gonna get some nice spear goblin chip damage here. That's pretty cool. Um, I really don't know why he's, I mean, he had to spend 9 elixir on defending a balloon, so I feel like that was a good trade. I'm just going mega minion here because I want to chill and uh, just, you know, if I'm going lava, I want to have a defensive troop on the board already, and since he has e-giant, I don't want to waste the tombs. Okay. Well, I mean, he can have his tower, man. If you're going to spend 9 elixir once again on, like, random shenanigans, then you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go gang up here just to kind of create some pressure, and then we'll go fireball. Sadly, I think I missed the bottom baby D, and I did, but uh, Zap should just get us a balloon hit, wrap it up. GG's. Uh, it's really nice we beat E Giant there, but he only really had the baby dragon, so it's kind of a free win for us. So, once again, the Goblin Gang, kind of a hindrance. Yeah, so like I was saying in the last match, this is. A, it's kind of still a hindrance. Like, uh, uh, the Goblin Gang, in case something went wrong, what was I supposed to. Ignore that Mega Minion, okay? I tried to activate the King Tower, man. What was I supposed to do if he took out my Tombstone? How am I supposed to take care of a E Giant, you know? So it was like is do i really want to be playing the goblin gang like it just feels like it's not right like i need dps and the goblin gang is just not it like it's it's same with the guards they both feel like great cards but in lava that's just so much different because they're the only defensive troop you know they're only ground troop so you know it's kind of 
it doesn't work the same as it would work in other decks where you can cycle a bunch of things and if they kill the gang then you have something else you know a weird tesla from him i wasn't expecting that that's kind of again that's still weird oh we need to get that out of there get that out of there get that out of there get that out Ooh. that was close baby that was pretty close but uh, we tower traded, so that's pretty nice. Um, I am just chilling here uh, with a nice tower trade. I'm not feeling great about the matchup right now, just because I like to use the Mighty Miner or the Barbs to like plug the lane sometimes, and also to Fireball Bait. But that's an important part. The Goblin Gang takes away the Fireball Bait from the Barbarians. If you usually play Barbarians, now you can't Fireball Bait because the only thing he has to Fireball is the um, Skeleton Ds. Uh, we'll go lava here. I don't know if that's a good lava, but I just want to take out this Tesla. And we might get a nice counter push out of it. Um, no, I guess not. Because the lava hound's dead. Wow, okay. Well, that's not good. Um, I'll just go Skelly D's in the middle. I want to wrap up these archers. Um, and we kind of have to reset because that was a pretty awful scenario we got ourselves. Okay, that's a little bit of an extreme word. It's not awful, but I mean, it's it's unfortunate it's an unfortunate situation we got ourselves into that's how i'll put it um yeah so anyways we'll go up here with the fireball uh balloon oh shit he got me good there that's kind of annoying dude he got me real good yeah and now the uh, expo just gets so much damn oh i think i need to play something else there bro <clears throat> I'm going to go Lava High, but I don't think that's a good Lava. I think I need to go within the bag. But, I mean, we can't because if I do that, then he, he just... He got so much damage from that Expo. It's just... It feels like I, I can't do anything here. Like, Expo's already a bad matchup, but the gang is just... Look at They just died a lot. Log, like, instantly. It's like they're useless, bro. They don't do anything for us. And now just two Fireballs is going to win him the game. And I really don't see how we're gonna do anything here but i mean of course mom ain't raised no quitter so i ain't gonna quit but uh yeah good tesla from him keeping the archer alive and the gang coming down but i just don't think this is gonna do much much of anything here we're gonna get him down to below 2000 but just one fireball in the log is gonna end it yep uh i guess i'll try and prevent him from using a fireball but this game has been over you know yeah with the Tesla and the, probably the archers coming down here. Yeah, it just feels like hopeless now. Yeah, it might have been close if our tower was a little healthier, but I, my overall thoughts on the Gob Gang, I just wouldn't play it in lava. Maybe I'm just not good at using it, but I personally wouldn't use it.